everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to another story time with me. My name is Miss Audrey and this is my friend Ellie and I work at the Paonia Library in Paonia, Colorado and today my favorite stuffed animal is going to help me with all of the fun activities. So first our craft we're gonna make it an elephant and that makes Ellie so happy and then of course we always have a what's inside the mystery box well Ellie let's tell them what everyone's gonna need so first you brought a, a pencil probably a paper plate a glue stick and for sure some scissors set these down let me get Ellie settled in my lap she can still see with her cute little ears all right and so the first step is you're going to cut your paper plate let me show you here so you're going to cut it where this part's gone and this part's gone and you'll have two pieces so one piece you're not going to want so you can just set it aside and one piece you're going to want to keep and if I hold it up like this together it already looks like an elephant doesn't it because this is the big elephant ears and this is the big elephant nose or it's also called a trunk so after you cut your pieces you're going to want to decorate it I chose to use paint but you can use markers or crayons or anything that your imagination comes up with so how I decided to paint mine because I wanted mine to have some texture is I got one of my son's old socks got a little bit of paint I got a container and I put just a little bit of paint in there doesn't take very much and then you want to get one of the socks and dab, dab, dab in there. And then you dab, dab, dab all over your paper plate pieces. So I used two different colors this time. And I don't know if you can see what colors they are, but one is a mint green and one if you already guessed it, is orange! Yes! And so now it's time to get your glue stick ready once your paint dries or you're done decorating with whatever you chose because then you're going to want to use your glue stick and glue the nose on your elephant. So let me show you the one that I completed. Here it is. So I used a pencil to draw the eyes on first, and then I used a marker to finish it up so you could see the eyes really well. And I wanted to make it look just like Ellie does. So I can't wait to see what everyone else's elephants look like. Please send me a picture of a completed elephant. I can be able to tell you how awesome it looks and how pretty it is. So, Ellie, are we ready to see what's in the mystery box? I think we are. So let's get it. Let's see what can possibly be in this week's box. The first thing, wow, it's long. It does not want to come out. There it is. Oh, Ellie. Look. It's a fan. My nieces got me this when they were traveling to Europe for band. They won a band competition. And so they got to go to Europe and play. And they got me this really pretty fan as a souvenir. And I love it. It's so pretty. Look at all the awesome flowers in it. 
And if you're hot, it's really nice and helps you cool off, huh, Ellie? Hmm. Let's see what else is in the mystery box today. Oh, this is really hard, but has like a lot of strange pieces. To me, I think this is such a cool sculpture piece. And it makes me think of something that lives in the ocean. Can you imagine seeing this swimming around out there? So I think it's really neat and it's on this brown ribbon. So I have it hanging in my house because I think it's so pretty. Let's see what else is in there, Ellie. Let me feel around. Oh, this one's squishy. Ellie wants to know, do you know what animal this is? It's a frog! Good job! And what sound does a frog make? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yay! Let's see what else is in here. Let me feel around. Oh, this is curved. Okay, this is one of my favorite bracelets, and I don't know if you'll be able to see with the glare on it, but there's a whole bunch of elephants on this bracelet. So I'm going to put it on. Oh, isn't that pretty? My brother got me this bracelet. He travels a lot, and I think he got this for me when he was in Thailand. So I like to wear it all the time. And Ellie likes it when I wear it, too. Okay, I think there's maybe something else. Oh, a couple of somethings. Oh, this is small and very round and very hard. I'm going to hold that up really close so you can see. It's one of my son's marbles. And can you see all the different colors that are in this marble? There are three colors. Green. Red, and that's yellow. Good job. You guys are so smart. We set that over here. I think there's something else in here. Let me feel. Oh, it's flat, like really flat and little. Let me get it straightened up so you can see. I bet you know what animal that is because you're so smart. And we've been talking about them, haven't we? It's an elephant! Yes! And I just thought this was really cool looking, so I just have it as a keepsake for myself. <laughs> I think there's one more thing, and it's super, super little, so I'm going to have to dig around and find it. Oh, I found it. Okay, let me set this over, because it's so little, Ellie. one of Ellie's favorite ones, so she's going to hold it up for you. Can you see what that is? <laughs> it's an elephant! A really teeny tiny elephant, huh? Alright, put that over here. Ellie and I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us today and for making an elephant craft and for discovering with us What's inside the mystery box? All right, let's tell them bye.